Hello my friends, today I'm going to show you how I took this image over here from a recent uh, travel and I will edit it into this image over here. Again, we will start with this image and we'll end with this image. For uh, this week uh, tutorial, I wanted to do something in the studio, but unfortunately I am homesick with COVID, so we'll do an editing video instead. Let's start with the beginning. This image is obviously a little bit underexposed, so I am going to raise the exposure a little bit. Then I will add some contrast somewhere around plus 20. The shadows, we see we have very strong shadows here, so I'm going to completely open them to plus 100. I will increase the whites a little bit, maybe around 26, 28, something like that. And then I'll bring down the blacks just to get a little bit of contrast, around 40, 47. I will add some texture, maybe around 18, 20. Then I will add some clarity. I will add some vibrance. And let's see, I'll take down the saturation a little bit so it doesn't get too saturated. And then I'll go into the camera calibration. You probably have this one in the very bottom. I move mine up here because this is the way I usually edit my images. And in the calibration panel, I want to go to the saturation of the blue primary and increase that to somewhere like 66, 67, something like that. And you see how that brings in, if I turn this on and off, just makes the colors pop a little bit, but the blues are way oversaturated now. So because of that, we have to go into the HSL now, go into the saturation and take the blues down quite a lot, maybe 57, something like that. Moving down, I will add a little bit of sharpening, not too much. Actually, I like to do my sharpening in Photoshop, so let's do that. I'm going to click on Remove Chromatic Aberration. Then I'm going to do Command D to send this image into Photoshop. And I'll, I'll come back and change the colors. There's some colors I don't like here. But um, before we do the colors, I want to sharpen this image a little bit more. So now with the image in Photoshop, put the image open in Photoshop. The way I like to sharpen my images is to, first of all, duplicate my layer, Command J. And then with this layer, I'll go to Filters, Other, and High Pass Filter. This is my favorite way of sharpening my images. Here, I'll keep my radius around 3.2 for the size of my file. Click OK, and then I will change the blending mode of this layer to overlay. So let's see, this is the before, this is the after, before and after, a lot sharper. But I don't want to sharpen the sky and everything else. So I'll just make a negative mask and with the brush, with the white brush, I'll just paint over the building because this is the only thing really I want to sharpen. Uh, I have my flow at 2%. Let's increase this at 100% and just paint over the building loosely. Something like that. Now I will flatten this image and then I will close it. And this will save it into Lightroom. And here I'm going to go back and do a few more edits because I don't really like the way it ended up. So it's like... I'm going to change the color of the sky a little bit to match better with the water and so on. So what I want to do, first I want to add just maybe a little bit more contrast. I feel like it's lacking a contrast a little bit. I want to make the brights a little bit brighter. So I'll increase this and open the shadows even a little bit more. Something like that. I'll take the whites down a little bit now. Not too much, negative six maybe and i'll open up the blacks a little bit maybe to plus plus six all right things are looking better um i'm not gonna mess with the clarity and texture 
but I will add more vibrance. I always prefer to add vibr vibrance versus saturation. It gives it a more natural look. I'll add a little bit of saturation too, but only like plus four. Now into the calibration panel, I wanna change this blue on the sky a little bit. So what I will do, I will change the blue primary. I'll take it from the blue more towards the cyan. So I'll take this down to negative 19 and then I'll increase the saturation just a little bit. And that just makes it go a little bit better together. The next thing I wanna do is work a little bit on this tone curve. I'm just gonna make two points over here. And what I want to do is just lift up the shadows a little bit more. So I'm just gonna lift this up just a tiny little bit. Not too much. Something like that looks good to me. Now we'll go into the hue and saturation. And what I wanna do, I wanna change the hue of the oranges a little bit more towards the red. So I'll go with a negative nine. And then for the saturation, I will take the same oranges a little bit down, maybe negative four. And then I'll go into the luminance and darken them a little bit too. All right, negative 12. That looks much better. Now, one last thing I wanna do is do a little bit of uh, color grading. I don't think I'll mess with the midtones and highlights, but I want to add a little bit of blue tones into the shadows. And blue tones, they lie on the hue of 220 to 30, something like that. So let's see, I'll go to 231 and I'll just add a little bit of saturation, maybe three or four. Great. That is great. Now looking at the sky, it's way overexposed. Like, you know, there's not a lot of drama there. So let's use one of these masks and uh, let's say we'll select the sky. And once, uh, once uh, Lightroom selects the sky, I'm gonna take the exposure down a little bit and maybe increase the whites, add some contrast, and that's just gonna make it a little bit more dramatic. Now it's too saturated, so maybe we'll take the saturation down a little bit. Another thing we can do to accentuate the sky, add a little bit of the haze, not too much. If you go too, too crazy, it looks really, really strange. So I'll just go with something like this. And then one more thing we can do to accentuate the sky is maybe to take the luminance of the blue, um, take it down, and that will create a little bit more contrast. And I'll take the saturation down just a little bit. I don't like my sky to be super saturated. Now the last thing to do is maybe brighten this building a little bit. So let's see if we go and create a new mask and maybe say select subject. Let's see if uh, Lightroom detects the subject, which it did. And we'll increase the exposure a little bit of the building. Open up the shadows maybe a little bit just to brighten it up. Add a little bit of contrast. And there you go. So this is our original image that we started with, and this is our final image. Again, this is the image we started with, very underexposed and blah, and this is our final image. I hope this was helpful and you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing, and I'll see you in my next video.